friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday and it is massive grocery haul. I had to go to Costco for my monthly stock up. I always know when it's been a month because I get Diesel's medication from there. I get a text for refilling his medication so I always know when it's time for a Costco run and then I went to a Kroger store as well. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos per week. Turn your bell on so you never miss a single one. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough. This is how I've lost over 120 pounds and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's wonderful. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this massive grocery haul. So here is this week's massive, massive grocery haul. I went to Costco, did my monthly stock up, and then I went to Fry's, which is a Kroger store. They had some really good sales going on, so I stopped in there to finish out this week's shopping. So let's jump into the grocery haul. Troy asked for a couple of frozen pizzas. He wanted thin crust and they just didn't have a lot of options at Fry's for some reason. So I did find the actual Kroger brand extra thin crust pepperoni and then this Screamin' Sicilian Supreme Pizza. This was $6.99 and this is normally like I think $11. So I grabbed that even though it's not thin crust. I thought that he would like that along with the pepperoni. I did pick up a gallon of 1% milk for him. Some water enhancers because I've been liking adding a little something to my water during the day. At least some of the water that I'm drinking. So I grabbed the Energy Strawberry Pineapple Smash. Doesn't that sound really, really good? And then the little packets were buy one get one free. And they're $1.69 a piece. So basically less than a dollar per box. These are great to make ice cream in the Ninja. Stay tuned, my friends. That video is coming tomorrow for you. So I grabbed the Sun Kissed, and then I also picked up the All Pink, which is the Strawberry Starburst. A pound of ground chicken. I have a recipe this next week that calls for shredded or diced chicken. I'm going to substitute ground chicken. Since I didn't go to Sprouts, the pre-shredded chicken at Kroger is so expensive. I just decided to grab some ground chicken instead for that recipe. And then I did pick up this ground chicken too, just to try it. It's the Force of Nature brand, $4.49. This is a 95 five lean. This I think is like a 90 10. So there's more calories and more fat in there, but I thought that we would give the brand a try and you can't pass it up for $4.49. I did grab an extra, extra dark chocolate bar for a recipe this next week. This is the greens and blacks organic 70% dark chocolate. Two boxes of sugar-free pudding for my Ninja Creamy video. One of them is sugar-free butterscotch and the other one is sugar-free chocolate fudge. I can't wait to share with you all the healthy ice cream recipes that I'm going to be making with my new Ninja Creamy. So like I said, stay tuned for that video tomorrow. And pumpkin is here. I scoured the store for everything pumpkin and I did find the Zero Sugar Coffee Mate Pumpkin Spice Creamer. Of course, of course I had to get that. And the other pumpkin thing I found was from the brand Tate's. This is a really good quality brand. They're really thin, crispy cookies. You can have two of them for 140 calories. I usually just have one of them. And look, pumpkin spice cookies with white chocolate chips. Yes, please. So that was really the only other pumpkin thing that sounded really good. I didn't want to buy candy or anything, and this sounded amazing. So that's going to be a little sweet treat this week. I picked up two more containers of my favorite cottage cheese, the Good Culture. This is the low fat. That is one of my favorite ways, spoiler alert, to get in a lot of protein is have cottage cheese. Some mild buffalo sauce. This is for my lunch meal prep. You guys know I'm a, so I'm a spicy wimp, so I picked up the mild buffalo sauce. I like the buffalo flavor. I just don't like it super, super spicy. So I thought the mild would come in perfect. I picked up these Annie's Crescent Rolls because they were on clearance for $2.29. And I thought this would be great to just cook these up and Troy can munch on these through the week and they'd make a great side for dinner. A can of no sugar added cherry pie filling. This is for my Ninja Creamy recipe. This one I am extra, extra excited about. I grabbed some of the Chameleon Cold Brew. This was on sale for $4.99. You guys know 
I like to have two coffees every day, so I thought that this would be nice to just have on hand for quick, easy coffee at home. Some one-third less cre fat cream cheese. This is for an ice cream recipe. One of the great things you can do with the Ninja Creamy to make your ice cream really creamy is add in a little bit of cream cheese, so I picked up the one-third less fat. Troy asked for the sea salt caramel Yasso ice cream bars, so I picked up a box. Their little mini watermelons are on sale for 99 cents a piece. Such a good deal, so of course I grabbed two. Some Italian style gnocchi. I grabbed this one because it had basil in it, and I thought that would be really good in the recipe that I'm planning on making this next week. And last but not least, from Kroger, I, I needed some spinach for a dinner recipe. So that is everything from Kroger. Let's jump into Costco. So the first thing from Costco is this variety pack of Ziploc bags. This is the one I always buy because you get gallon, quart, sandwich, and snack, and this is currently on coupon. We needed Kleenex, and Kleenex is on coupon as well for just the next, I think, three or four days. If you're interested in any of the coupon products, I'll let you know what those are. They will be on coupon for the next few days. Paper towels, because that is a staple when we go to Costco. So on coupon are pads, so I went ahead and restocked my overnight pads. I have never seen this at Costco, so I had to pick it up. Number one, I think this would make amazing ice cream in my Ninja Creamy. And two, sometimes I like to have a protein shake as a snack, and these are just convenient. They're pre-made, ready to go. This is the Fairlife Core Power Strawberry Banana. I tried one of these when I was in Florida, and it's really, really good. 26 grams of complete protein. And one other thing about these types of protein shakes, I like to have them after I work out because they're really, really good for recovery. I grabbed a little down vest. These are on coupon for $10. You can't beat it at all. This is the 32 heat brand. Funny story. I used to have several of these and I took them all to goodwill because they were all too big for me. I tried on the large. I probably could have got the medium, but the large gave me a little bit of extra room and I figured I might be wearing a little bit more bulky clothes underneath. So I definitely snagged one of those. My makeup wipes were on sale still from the last time I was at Costco for $10.99. So I had to just grab another box for backup. Now these little guys, somebody in my Facebook group posted these and asked if anybody had tried them and everybody said that they were amazing. So I spotted them and instantly put them in my cart. These are from the brand Lolly, Lally. These are the Morning Protein Bites harvest so it says natural chicken sausage cage-free eggs sweet potato yellow squash kale and caramelized onions there are 10 grams of protein and a serving is four of them which i thought was really great for 130 calories i can feel them in the bag and i would say that they're maybe about that big a piece so i thought four of those with some fruit for breakfast you could throw them in your air fryer you can microwave them throw them in the oven i'm super excited to try them we will taste test these in next wednesday's what i eat in a day so make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss it i also picked up our favorite mayo the chosen foods avocado oil mayo if you can get this at Costco it's such a better deal than anywhere else Troy's pasta salad they only had like four left I think it's about to be out of season so I went ahead and grabbed another one for him it has tortellini tomatoes mozzarella and like I think an Italian dressing I don't like it but he loves it and it is only seasonal so I went ahead and grabbed him one I did get my favorite string cheese in the whole world these are the organic valley stringles these have seven grams of protein and most string cheese has five or six not to mention it's organic and they're just really really good quality and really affordable at Costco these were on coupon and I love these if you watched my vlog when we moved to Arizona I bought a small bag of these for the car they're incredibly delicious. They're gluten-free, they're vegan, they're grain-free. They are the Siete Mexican wedding cookies. I'll tell you, when I was at Kroger, they had the little bag, like a fourth of the size of this for $6, and I think I paid $6.29 at Costco, so definitely a good deal. For my dogs, I grabbed them two bags of the Boyce's Bakery Bacon Nutty Soft and Chewy Peanut Butter and Bacon Dog Treat. So these are wheat-free. They are on coupon right now for about $6, which is an incredible deal, so I picked up two. Some non-fat Greek yogurt because hashtag yogurt bowls you guys know I love my Greek yogurt with my granola and my fruit and I go through a small one within the first half of the week so I grabbed the big one at Costco less than six dollars can't beat it I picked up a big thing of chicken thighs because I'm kind of over chicken breast and I really really like chicken thighs and the macros on them are not very different than chicken breast I also don't love chicken breast reheated and since I meal prep a lot I reheat a lot so I grabbed some thighs this time I'm going to test them out I think the extra fat in them which is very minor 
liner compared to chicken breast will keep me full. They're just juicy and tender and they're easier to warm up. A big thing of blueberries and a big thing of raspberries. These are really good deals right now at Costco. I also grabbed a huge bag of broccoli because I need quite a bit for a recipe and I like to have it on hand. This, by the way, is really good dipped in that fried pickle ranch dip. Let me show you. This dip. This dip is so good from Taste of the South fried pickle ranch dip. I love to dip cucumbers, broccoli, veggies in there. So I picked up the big bag of broccoli for that. Also a killer deal, the La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas are $3, $3.50, something like that for 20 of them. I mean, you can't even buy five of them in the grocery store for that. So as soon as I saw that those were still on coupon, I grabbed them. And last but not least, a huge ginormous block of sharp cheddar cheese. We like to just have cheese on hand for cheese and crackers and plus not, if you didn't know, or if it's not obvious, we eat a lot of cheese in this house. So that is everything that I picked up from both Costco and from Fry's or Kroger. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday is out to dinner per usual. Tomorrow I'm going to make meatloaf. I ended up not making it this last week, so I have everything ready to go for that. Monday I'm doing beef and broccoli, and this is supposedly the best ever beef and broccoli, so you'll be seeing that recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday I'm making creamy chicken gnocchi soup. I'm super excited for this. Thursday, we're gonna do some super simple sloppy joes, and then Friday is leftovers, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. Fall is here, y'all, at least for me. We are going to be starting with all the fall recipes. In this week's meal prep for breakfast, I am making pumpkin overnight oats. I have been craving overnight oats, and as soon as I discovered this recipe, I was like, yes, come to mama. So we're doing some pumpkin overnight oats. Lunch is going to be buffalo chicken burgers, and then, and then I'm making no-bake peanut butter protein bars. These are like those chocolate-covered peanut butter bars that are super, super high in calories, point sugar. We're making a better version with protein. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another WW Grocery Haul, a massive grocery haul from Costco and Kroger. Lots of amazing deals right now at Costco if you're in the market for anything that I shared with you. Not to mention, they had some other really good deals. I just wasn't in need of those items, but I would definitely check it out. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's Ninja Creamy Ice Cream video. Bye!